Hello there, Justin from Brick right here again. Um, I'm trying to smile, but we're all a little bit flat out for you, aren't we? Yeah. And there's nobody working harder than me, Fraser. <laughs> huh? So what we're doing is we're putting these um, Alvin Lee paving in. So these are the uh, Marshalls Alvin Lee, and they're the buff colour. So we're putting these sets in. So these form the side of the path. Um, and then we've got drainage down here, look. Down there, an eco drain down there, and the drain runs out into the um, <clears throat> out into the flower bed. And then when I'm stood here, I think at the moment it's looking like we're going to go for a, a 45 degree herringbone pattern on here. But this works now, doesn't it? So if you've been watching the other videos, we've been banging on about coming off this step onto a level surface. So this is why we put this wall in onto a level surface. So we've been putting these in. So if I just go past you three and then you follow me up and then you see what's happening up here. So when we come to this bit here, we've put the, uh, let show them that in there, three. We put the risers on in there, look ready, onto there, the three of them. So the risers are on. We've just got to put the treads in so it'll work out that we've got 100 mil um, risers, the same as everything else all the way around. So that works. And then we're doing um, this path on a radius. So if you come up this way, you can just show them that round there for you, what we're doing in terms of this. And then, so we've done this, coming around this way. So we've had to cut these now in half, because if we put them in whole, it would have been like a 50 pence piece. So we've cut them in half to try and get a nice curve, a nice radius for the client and for ourselves. So we're happy with this now. So this is coming around to here. So we're just doing this side. We thought we'd make a video and show you what we're doing. So we put this side in freehand because there's nothing to go to. Um, and these parts are kind of made up in conjunction with matching up to the drive. So there was no kind of pin or radius that I could set up. So we've put this in freehand. There's nothing wrong with that. That looks really good. So what, what we've done is we've cut this piece of timber, one metre and 65 I think it is. And that dictates the centre point between there and this side for the width of the internal side of the path. So what we did is we put we put some sand and cement, and you see it by here, like it's still here, put some sand and cement down, we made this, and then I just got my got my trowel, stuck it to the side of there, pulled out to there and just drew a line all the way around. You've got to keep this kind of parallel or coming off this 90 degrees. Not parallel, 90 degrees. If you do that 45 degrees, obviously your line is going to be here, look, so you're off. So you've got to keep that coming around at kind of 90 degrees. So we've just drawn a line all the way around there now. So this is coming through, so it's looking really good. And then, just as a check, as you're coming through, laying to the line, what we're doing, just to make sure that this is the same width as the rest of it, we're just putting that in there, just to make absolutely sure that you know we're right we do that periodically every three or four paviors and come through and, and get that so when we come down to this bit down here when we come down to here so this line's been marked out now all the way down to here so when we come down to here it's going to work out level between the two and then we'll get a string line we put a dead man down there so that's a dead pavia bedded up we'll put a string line down this side We'll put a string line down that side and then away we are to go again then until we come down to the next curve by where we got to do this so just show them a couple of these going in now phrase if you just stay on the camera so we've mixed this slurry up so this stuff is really really important now without the slurry these are going to delaminate them they're going to come apart the cement is not going to hold and it's all going to come apart so what freeze has been doing that We've been getting this stuff and we've been putting this on the back of there like that and then so same as the porcelain same as all the other slabs and stuff you've seen this lay we put our so this is a four on one sand and cement mix with a bit of feb and it's a dry it's a stiff mix left right bit of body to it so we can get these to stick reduce the amount of water because it's winter and that'll set then a lot quicker so it's a sharp sand so four sharp sand and one normal cement phrase, isn't it? Yep. And you've done that, you've gazed all, all out with a bucket or Brad have in the, in the mixer today, isn't he? So we just lay these on there now, coming through, like that. And then we have put the slurry on, but now don't be shy with this stuff. 
and they put that on there like that so lay these two eye lay them two eye and then what we'll do once we've laid them two eye is we come back over them with a level and just make sure that everything is lining through on the level and there's no humps and bumps in it and then the other thing doing freehand like this that I would recommend is go and stand back and have a little look at your work from a distance and you, you know you might not be able to see it here but if you stand back and have a little look from a distance you'll be able to see any slight discrepancies we have adjusted a couple over, the, over this part of the yeah. we've taken one or two up because we have seen a little two or three mil dip in it or a little bit where it's higher so we have changed it a bit but that's good to do that it's the same principle like that on there so I lay into this line now that we marked out with our piece of uh, our piece of timber our pattern or template rather and then what we got what we're gonna be doing on here is the principle of laying this is we're gonna make a screeding rod up so we're gonna put the um, semi dry mix in here whack it all down with a, with a trowel or whatever float it all off and then I'm gonna make a piece of timber to go and sit on top of here and sit inside this and we'll be able to cut it to, to drag back the thickness of what we want on the sand and cement on the screed and then we'll just be able to lay our paving on top but like you said Brad we're going to raise it up about a mil two mil higher yeah. so we've got the capacity to actually tap them rather than we're just resting them on top and then we'll use this slurry on the um, on the paving coming through in the middle so we're hoping it'll work and then we're gonna well we know it'll work we're going to um, joint all this up then in this um, brilliant stuff we've been using, the flow point. So we'll use that on this pad, won't we? And that'll match up the top well. there as well then, won't it? Mm -hmm. So we just laid two or three there now. <coughs> so what we'll do is we just get it on the level. Now you're not looking for level. You're just looking for any humps and bumps in this and to, and to take those humps and bumps out. And obviously now where Fraser is, this is starting to go downhill. So if I was to lay this level, to give you an idea, if I was to lay that level up, you'd be going higher and higher and higher down there. So not only have I got to create the curve, not only have I got to keep it the same distance, um, I've got to be able to bring it from that level and slope it down and make it look seamless and make it look right. So that's what we're trying to achieve. So just get your level on it, make sure everything is coming through. And then just as a double check then, I've set a point on the spirit level there I don't know if you can see that set a level on the spirit level there that I'm following all the way through to try and keep the same level between here and here now the reason for this is on this bit here we've got um, bark going in where Brad stood there a driveway going up here so this is the only kind of flat bit of the drive or the path all this here goes down to there and all the way Fraser stood there goes down to that bin down there for if you want to show them. That's the fall. But this bit here, um, we're going to have this falling off into the into the garden here. Aren't we? So that's what we've been doing. So we'll carry on. We'll lay a couple more just to show you. And then we'll finish this now today. I can't do it, right? Don't have any more. Brad, Brad, I can't do any. Can you want to come in and cut, Brad? I said I'd do it. I told you thing. this before we had to do the video, Brad. Yeah, we can show them how to cut them as well, look. Oh, you, oh, I see. I thought you didn't want to be on a YouTube video. No, I didn't. Not today. <laughs> uh, day off. He did ask me to cut them before I did the YouTube video. So there we are. Watch Brad cut this. Have you got all your health and safety stuff on, Bradley? No. Have you got your gloves on? Have you got your glasses on? No. No. I'm rushing now. He's rushing as well. So while he's doing that, look, another little trick we played on this was this, so if you come down the earth right? so I, you can't really see this so the only way you can see it from, is from down, so come over here please. Come, come over here, I know I told you to stay off the bed but for the sake of showing these guys come round to here and turn round if you look at our path now from left to right you can see there's a substantial fall going on that path it's sloping down to this side so it's sloping like that look and there's a substantial fall on that so what we've done over here in this corner place you come back over here now 
what we did is we started laying this from this point here because we didn't want that fall continuing under the step because the riser would have been a different height again, wouldn't it? So all this putting this wall in would have been for nothing. So we played a little trick now. So we started laying from this point here and from this point here this morning, put a slight fall on that and then from that point and from this point up, up that way, we've then put our string lines on it and we've raised it all up. So, but the wall hides it all. You can't really see it, can you, Fraze? No. So it's a bit of a disguise going on, and a good disguise, because it, it, everything works, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, so let's keep him happy now, and uh, go and have a little look at what he's doing. So, come on. He said he didn't want to be on YouTube, but you know what he's like. <laughs> and uh, if there's any kids watching, he has got to build his crack hanging out, so be careful. <laughs> right? Some guy just texted me on YouTube and said, can you stick an arse away because he's been offended? Thanks. <laughs> right, go and show him, go and show him on him. <laughs> So we're back up this gutter, isn't it? Back up one. Because our still this gutter is in the repair shop again, isn't it? She's in the work. Ah, she's in the repair shop. Yeah, and she's what we're going to do shop. is when we do the cuts on this, we're going to use the ruby, and we've got a um, a blade from Henry over at. Can't remember the name of the shop. Stone something. Can't remember. I'll let you know this again. These blades we've been trying them out. We'll let you know they're brilliant so far from Henry, and a lot cheaper than the original ruby ones. So we'll set the ruby up here. We'll do all the cuts in here, and we'll show you that again. So, yeah, I mean, you can see now as well, since the last week, we've taken all this grass off. The client has given us to go ahead, we've taken all the grass off in here. We took all the grass off down there, all the grass off the end of the summer house. All this now is going to be new topsoil coming in here, turfing going in here. So when the turf goes in, we can lay the turf level to that, and it's going to look amazing then, all the way around. So we're quite excited about that, aren't we? Uh, the bomb. It's, it's, it's going to look really good, so we're pleased that our client has done that. So there we are, it's a couple of little tips for you on this radius. We'll carry on now and we'll bring you some more videos before Christmas. But other than that, if you can um, subscribe, you make Brad a very happy man, Brad, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't it, Ray? Yep. You'd be happy. And um, if you can leave us some comments or, or help us, comments or help us in any other way, superb. Other than that, see you very, very soon. Say goodbye, Bradley. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Fraser. Goodbye. Goodbye, Justin. See you soon. <laughs>